afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets at end of day's trading, the uh, Tuesday, the 15th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see where we finish today. Uh, Asia, European mar Asian market is certainly higher. Uh, uh, having said that, Hang Seng certainly negative. The Shanghai finishing up 0.4%. The Nikkei finishing up one percentage points in terms of European session. Let's just bring up the European stats as well. Uh, European stats, especially the FTSE 100, certainly benefiting from that weaker inflation print. FTSE 100 certainly hitting uh, an intraday spike, I think, on the futures market at 7421. Okay, FTSE, uh, the German DAX as well, uh, up 11 points. The French CAC, uh, 18 points. Now, even though we had the weaker German GDP numbers, that certainly uh, still uh, kept the uh, German DAX higher, although it was high, higher, uh, higher. Uh, I think the pivot high was 12,230 before it reversed, and the French CAC as well. I think it hit a pivot high of 5,160. So, again, watch out for weakness there in terms of European equities. Certainly expecting US equities certainly to turn weaker as well towards the end of the session, especially with Apple into double top. In terms of other economic data from the fundamental perspective, we've had. Um, the weaker German GDP numbers, again, that was really the drag on European equities, from my perspective. Uh, the inflation numbers out of the UK certainly came in slightly weaker than expected, although RPI came in stronger. That still had a uh, bullish effect on the uh, European, or should we say the FTSE itself, our sterling dropped down to 1.2850. Uh, UK or US retail sales coming in stronger than expected. Import prices, red book, uh, house prices as well. Now, that certainly will raise concerns now with the US dollar certainly spiking. That will certainly raise concerns with regards to a rate hike and the Fed obviously being hawkish and therefore that will be risk negative for US equities. So just bear that in mind. Looking at your 60 minute chart here on the dollar chart, you've certainly retraced that quite substantially now. OK, so again, watch out for a potential pop here or bounce on the dollar index. OK, as we come into that gap fill. So uh, that, that certain gap or spike higher on the back of uh, stronger retail sales and stronger US data. Okay, now in terms of technicals, let's see exactly where the German DAX is sitting at present. You have certainly held the FIB 75% resistance, previous support equals resistance on the German DAX. 10-minute uh, chart, you can clearly see you've got a double top there and therefore you are looking for a lower high for a lower low. So German DAX certainly in, in trouble. 60-minute chart and French CAC certainly held a 200 MA. From my perspective, it remains weak now. The daily chart certainly putting in a potential doji candle, so you are looking for a reversal. And the 10-minute chart certainly looking to potentially move south, as you can see here. Okay, so certainly looking to potentially close that gap at 5120. That will be your potential primary target. In terms of euro stocks, let's have a look here again. We did actually make a higher high, but we held that double top resistance, a horizontal resistance here at uh, 5, uh, 3475, which is a 200 MA and coincides with a FIB. 61% retracement. Okay, 10 minute chart again. You are looking for gap fill below. That would be my potential primary target on the euro stocks going lower. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up the FTSE. Let's see where we stand. FTSE 100 certainly helped by uh, the weaker sterling today. Still trading within that inside bar, although it did spike higher. Uh, the futures market had a spike up to 7420, which really I can't understand why. Very, very strange, okay, but that certainly was the status quo. 7400 really was a pivot high on the uh, the actual uh, LSC exchange from my perspective. So again, watching out for that key level, okay. Uh, again, you are looking at 50%, but given the weaker sterling, if sterling continues to be weaker, FTSE certainly could go higher. So again, just be, be mindful of that. 10 minute chart, again, you did actually point in a lower high towards the close. Let's see if that certainly materializes into a lower low. And then you are looking for gap fill below at 7350, and then you also have a gap at 7310. So two gaps below on the FTSE 100, so certainly take that into account as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of uh, the uh, the actual uh, charts for European equities. Uh, wish you a trading, a prosperous trading uh, day for Wednesday, and uh, I think that's uh, a wrap from me. Uh, also, be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye.